This video is brought to you by ASAP12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Okay, and finally, value equals and red. Okay, and now when we send this, it's going to say favorite color equals either blue, green, or red. And because it's in checkboxes, they can select multiple ones. Uh, radio. The difference between checkboxes and radio buttons is uh, checkbox can checkboxes. Sorry, can be selected multiple times, whereas radio buttons you can only select one. So uh, that's something to bear in mind. Uh, on to the next thing. Then we're gonna look at radio buttons now. What a coincidence! Um, so just use the input tag again. And then type equals, and inside these quotes put radio. Okay, and here we go, we have a radio button. If we just, um, actually, I'm not sure whether this work will work because it has been known to glitch and accidentally select more than one, allow you to do that. Uh, let's just try this though. Okay, so we've got four radio buttons here. Ah, oh, okay, it has glitched. Um, but, uh, yeah, for some reason it's unfortunately glitched. But what's supposed to happen is, with radio buttons, you can only select one. So, um, you, if you're asking, oh, where are you from, let's say, or where do you live, and you've got England, Scotland, or Wales, uh, you don't use checkboxes, can because they can select all three, and then you just have spammers spamming you all the time. So you you use radio buttons, so they can only select one. Okay, and of course, uh, the name is important here, so name equals country, let's say. Okay, and then of course the value. So uh, let's have this first one as England. Oops, misspelt there. Uh, Scotland. Wales. And yes, the Irish get in here. Okay, and if we save this and refresh, uh, of course, we forgot to put in here, so let's just type England. Well, at the top here, well, what is your favorite color? And then we need a line break, of course. Okay, England, uh, Scotland. Wales and Ireland and if we refresh this it says what is your favorite color England Scotland Wales and Ireland so if someone clicks Wales it's gonna say country equals Wales because the value is Wales and the name is country okay so we're almost done with um we are almost done with our uh, types of input in the forms uh, it's just couple more that need to be gone through um, three more in fact three more that I can remember and um, one will be sorry make a new input tag one will be the uh, submit button okay and uh, the value here is not very important if if I just uh, save this and check it okay so it says submit query if we change the value to let's say submit uh, click me now okay it just changes the text on uh, our submit button so uh, you can uh, you can change that if you want submit query is perfectly fine if you're trying to be serious so. uh, and most of us are if we're this in depth with HTML um, now often with a submit button, well, not often, all the time. If you don't, you're a bit stupid. You'll have an on. Uh, 
I think it's on click event, which is a JavaScript event. And then you'll give the name of a function, like a check form. Often um, you have JavaScript functions which check the form to see if they to see if they filled out things. You know, if they've left uh, one of the countries wrong, then um, oops, sorry, I put favorite color there. I just realized. Uh, where do you live? Um, so if they accidentally miss where do they live, um, it will say, sorry, you missed this, you've got to fill it in or you can't submit the form. And then uh, it, if if it does come up with that, it will return a value of false. And if it passes all the tests, it returns true. And it will then uh, carry out the action and the method in which the action is done. Um, there is... Oh, there's one more attribute uh, I'm forgetting here, but what you can do is you can default select 